What sets a city apart isn't the location, although ours is pretty great. Portland's location is like almost dead center of New York State. It's easy access with Route 81. We're 20, 20 mile drive from an incredible town of Ithaca, New York. 30 mile drive to Syracuse, 40 mile drive to Binghamton, three hours away from New York City. We're a hub in New York State that has easy access for travelers and for tourists. What makes our downtown so special is that feel. That feel one gets when they're on vacation. When they wander into a quaint small city and they feel invited, a bit familiar and a bit like they've discovered something brand new. We just love it. The community is so receptive to arts and music. Portland's creative community is flourishing. Portland's Repertory Theatre Company has been producing professional theatre since 1972. Their new downtown facility offers year-round productions, which brings a boost to local restaurants, shops, and hotels. The Cortland Repertory Theatre is important to me because it is in the heart of downtown, and the one thing that I've heard recently is the two things that make a town grow is the theatres and the arts. CRT's downtown is exactly what Cortland is great at and that is taking something that wasn't being used, in this case, an empty and decaying bowling alley, and turning it into a year-round theater. What that did was expand CRT's summer stock program into a year-round venue and solidified what was an emerging arts district into the focal point of downtown's creative economy. Cortland is building up. 38 Arts is an estimated $1.8 million project it's partially funded under CFA Round 6. It's an Actors Hotel collaborative project between the Cortland Downtown Partnership and the Cortland Repertory Theater. The hotel will provide a living workspace for visiting artists. Unlike many small cities that have been ravaged by urban renewal, fires, or even demolition, the core of Cortland's main street is largely intact. It's a cohesive collection of attached late 19th and early 20th century mixed-use commercial blocks. I love living in Corland because I love this small town feel and I can walk to most places. The commercial district of downtown is currently reinventing itself into an urban neighborhood as well as a business district. As of 2016, an estimated 40% of downtown's upper floors were either vacant or underutilized. For Cortland's core of entrepreneurial can-do visionaries, these vacancies mean opportunities. Among the projects we have underway are a full-time police officer who has an office in downtown and works to make sure the city of Cortland is safe, clean, and fun. Three developers are proposing market-rate housing in vacant, blighted, and offline units. One project at the Cortland Corset Factory is an exciting adaptive reuse of an old factory, and it's going to create incredible housing at the southernmost end of our downtown district. The development will help stabilize one of the most economically depressed areas of our city. With housing comes the need for more entertainment and food. One of the biggest draws to Cortland are our various festivals. The pumpkin and arts and wine festivals and the music events draw visitors to our community. The Spiegel Wilcox Performing Arts Center is an amphitheater proposed to be located in the historic courthouse. It will provide a state-of-the-art performance venue that will expand the scale of our existing festivals, which just have temporary stages. These draw in hundreds to thousands of spectators each and every event. SUNY Cortland is exploring the use of this venue for its Spring Fling concert, with recent national acts like OAR, The Fray, and all-time shows like The Grateful Dead, Neil Diamond, and The Beach Boys. SUNY Cortland's Spring Fling redevelopment into a town gown event is a key strategy to enhancing the cultural offerings that target millennials and keep the connections open between both vital sides of our city. Home to not one but two SUNY campuses, those choosing to live in Cortland benefit from not only the ability to attend the colleges themselves, but to know there is always an interesting lecture, class, or exhibit happening that they are welcome to attend. And whether you're in Cortland to live, work, or just traveling through, food is important. If your tastes run to brick oven pizza, classic diner food, sushi, or perhaps the best hummus in upstate New York, foodies will have a field day here. This crown city is the gateway to the Finger Lakes. You can taste many of the wines right here at the Finger Lakes Tasting Room. Or if you prefer to make your food, nothing beats a farmer's market. 
We love coming to the farmer's market in Cortland. Every time we're in town, we come down here and see what's new. So fresh, just from the local farms. Delicious. And we also have the local food market, another example of Cortland's transition. A former hardware store converted into a high-end specialty food store, on par with Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. This access to fresh, wholesome foods has allowed and inspired high-end, upper floor residential development in downtown, as people now have access to fresh foods within walking distance. My husband and I and our kids all walk place to place in town. We ride our bikes everywhere. It's just a really essential part of our lives that I'm happy to be a part of here in Cortland. Cortland is able to do all of this because we have the infrastructure. It's not just the beautiful buildings businesses want to move into, but we have the water, sanitary, and storm sewers that meet the demands needed to support upper floor sprinklers. Without those, these desirable urban apartments and shops can be quite difficult. Cortland has invested in its sewage treatment facility so that it can accommodate job growth in the dairy and dairy products industry. It's really nice to see downtown start to pick back up. I think there's this real want to experience mom and pop businesses. As someone who didn't grow up here, I don't have the comparison of how Cortland used to be. We've come downtown and we've been to the, the brewery around the corner. You don't feel disconnected or, or like I'm, I'm stuck in your small town. It really, it's, it's great. When folks are headed to Ithaca, they do so along Route 81 and along the Clinton Street Corridor. Long and eyesore, this area is a key project we wish to address to welcome people into our incredible community and transform the space from Interstate 81 to historic downtown Cortland. This new area will feature a dog park, a river trail connecting parks from one side of the city to the other, and an interactive art installation, which will represent the culture and heritage of the community. The River Parks Project ties the city's most recent improvements to the public parks. Greek Peak is just 10 minutes to our south, and we also have skiing to our north and to our east. Greek Peak's posh resort leaves visitors amazed as they enjoy beautiful winter courses to suit all levels of skiers. Plus, there's an indoor water park, an outdoor adventure center, and so much more. For those who love the water, fishing and kayaking in the Teofnioga River, relaxing in some months and challenging in others. Our parks, pools, and picnic areas are family friendly. Those who like more adventure will get a kick out of our roller derby team. And the McDonald Center is a great place for skaters at every level to glide on the ice. While sports and recreation may be the driver, the downtown arts and entertainment amenities are the complimentary offerings that bring people back and increase the frequency and duration of their stays. So what sets a city apart isn't the location. It's that feel. I moved to Syracuse when I was young, then to Cortland, and now I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. The sense of community in Cortland is one of the reasons that I'm happy and proud to call Cortland my home, and one of the reasons that I'm happy that I moved back here.